let's start with the topic one. Okay. So what is a polynomial? First, we should know what is a polynomial. Before knowing about the polynomial, we should know some basic terms that will be used that are what are variables, what are constant. Okay. Anybody knows about the variable constant? Um, yeah, Jessica. Um, variables like uh, a to z, uh, a to z like. Is... Yeah, the values or the uh, the terms whose values the, are not known. Terms, yes, 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 means you wanted to say yes, that. Yes, we cannot change the value. Variable value. Variable means means vary. Means its value can vary. Okay. Uh, for example, starting here, uh, it's given like x is equal to one, so it can vary. But here, basically, mathematics will prefer as variable means the terms whose values are not known. Okay. Like, uh, in fact, uh, mostly we prefer to take x uh, not from the a. We'll take from x, y, z these values. Okay. Because sometimes what happens, you can take a, b, c, d, but uh, generally we use a, b, c, d for the constant term also, where we need to represent the constant term. But in the starting, we are not knowing the values, so we use a, b, c, d there. You may uh, you have seen the question or in the like variable variable are like x, y, z. Okay, these are the variables. Generally, we use these variables. It is not that we cannot use other alphabets as variable, but uh, generally x, y, z will be used in your equation. Okay, and the value whose values are not known. Okay, so these are variable now constant known values. Okay, like one to any number, uh, you can say one to hundred. All are these constant. Okay, these values are not. And if we want to represent with constant, represent constant by a by a uh, constant by a term then we generally use uh, a b c okay a b c generally we use like in equation sometimes it is written to you that a x plus b is equal to 5x plus uh, d, d plus c okay so you have to find out the value of c so at that time we represent the constant term as a b c okay these are also can be treated as variable but generally we use these uh, a b c alphabets to represent a constant okay now Let's see. And the combination, how the polynomial mm -hmm. are written, the combination of the constant and variable, okay, uh, they form uh, with, a, with some uh, algebraic expressions or you can say arithmetic operations or sorry, or arithmetic operations like plus, minus, division, multiplication. If you use these operations uh, with the combination of constant and variable, then they form an arithmetic expression, okay? The expression that is formed is called an arithmetic expression. For example, these are the basic terms, okay? These are for your knowledge. Nobody is going to ask you. Okay, these are the simple basic terms that you should know. Okay, so what are, what is an ex uh, arithmetic of, of expression? Constant plus variable plus operators, arithmetic operators. Okay, okay. For example, you can write three x square plus four four uh, x plus c. Okay, or instead of c, you can write some uh, some constant term like you can write two uh, y plus 10. Okay, so these are some of the examples of your arithmetic expression. Okay, you can see a constant term is here, plus variables are here with a combination and a star plus sign. It can be a minus sign, okay, or a division sign can also be there. So, this is an arithmetic operation. Okay, now in a, what are basically polynomials? Okay, this is about arithmetic operation. Okay, you can write arithmetic operation can be like 2y plus 5 also. This is an arithmetic expression. Okay, this is also an arithmetic expression, but this is not in polynomial. 2y by 5 is not a polynomial. Now, what is a polynomial? Let's see. Okay, so polynomial first we'll discuss about uh, the polynomial in one variable, but a simple definition of polynomial is an arithmetic expression in which the variables involved only non negative power. Okay, it as per algebraic expression which has the variables that have non-negative power, okay? Only non-negative power should be there. They are called polynomial. Non-negative power means that the power should be in whole numbers, okay? Whole numbers like 1, 2, 3, maybe 0, okay? 5, 6, whole numbers power. You cannot write like minus 1. x to the power minus 1. This cannot be a polynomial. This cannot be a polynomial, okay? x to the power 5 by 2 cannot be a polynomial, okay? Understood? Because this is not a whole number. The power is not in the whole number. It is a, not a non-negative. It should be a non-negative integer. Okay. Then only it is a polynomial. Okay. That arithmetic expression is called a polynomial. Now, polynomial can be written in one variable, can be written in two variables. Okay. So, let's see how can a polynomial be written in a one variable or what is the definition of a polynomial in one variable. Okay. An, an algebraic expression involving single variable. That means only single variable is involved. Either x, either the y either z only single variable will only be involved then which have only whole numbers or non-negative integer as the exponent of the value variable are called polynomials in one variable okay 
just let's see the example. He's written a polynomial in one variable. Mm -hmm. 3y plus 2. Okay, this is what? Here you can see a variable is only one. Single variable is here. So this is a polynomial in one variable. Okay, and you can see the power of y is 1. Okay, the power of y is 1. So that means it is a polynomial because it is a non-negative integer. Okay, now you can uh, say that... Uh, you can also write 3x square plus 2, uh, 2x, 2x plus c. This is also a polynomial in one variable because single variable hello, is. Ma'am. Yeah, hello. Fitdos? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I think you are a new joinee. Ma'am, I'm Sharia. Okay. So we are at the chapter polynomial. Okay. I've just started. So let's see. Okay. So polynomial in one variable. Polynomial in one variable means the polynomial uh, in which the variable only single variable are used. Okay. If x is used, only x will be used. If y is used, only y. If z is used, only z will be used. Okay. And single variable. And the value of the, uh, the degree of the polynomial will be non-negative integer. Okay. It will be a whole number. Understood? So have you understood about the uh, polynomial in one variable, everyone? Okay, very good. Okay, we have seen the examples also. Now here you can see a polynomial in one variable x of degree n is an algebraic expression of the form. See, this is the uh, polynomial can be written as px is equal to a n x to the power n plus a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 means it can keep on going. Okay, if you can have the uh, a n x to the power n plus a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 px. Px can be denoted as this a n minus 2 uh, x n minus 2 okay plus if we keep on going on you can write here a2 x to the power 2 plus a1 x to the power 1 plus a0 okay so have you understood this so this is the means this is a general expression you can say for an polynomial this is a general expression that polynomials have written in this form okay so a n here what is this a n a n minus 1. These are a n, a n minus 1 are the coefficient. Okay. The values which are written with the uh, variable value. Okay. The value that comes with the variable value are called the coefficient. These are called coefficients. Okay. They are called coefficients. Now, this one a n is a coefficient of x to the power n. Okay. A n minus 1 is a coefficient of x n minus 1. And this single value, this whole value, which is uh, means you can see these values which are divided with this uh, with plus sign. Okay. These single values are called terms. Okay. This one holds this denote a term. Okay. And then there is an operator, plus operator. It can be plus operator, minus operator, anything. Okay. Now, let's see some general things. Okay. Now, we have come to know about uh, the polynomial in one variable. Now, let's see, uh, solve a program, uh, question and then we will move ahead. Okay. And yeah, there's a note for you. Like I told you, a non negative integer value should be there in the power. So, x plus 1 by x. If you will see this question, x plus 1 by x, then the second x is having a power of minus 1. So, this that means that it cannot be a poly polynomial. Root x plus 3. If you will take out this term, uh, root x plus 3, so it will be a uh, power of half. X will we have a power of half so it cannot be a polynomial so these terms are not a polynomial okay now example one which of the following are polynomials now you have to tell that which of the following are the polynomials now first one x cube plus 3x square plus 3 so is it a polynomial or not um, it, is. it is a polynomial so now yes, it it is. Is. yeah very good everybody now uh Shari, can you give me uh, the uh, explanation why it is a polynomial uh, Sharia, yes? Sharia, are you there? Yeah, no, no, I am. Yeah, so can you explain me why this first expression x cube plus 3x square plus 3 is a polynomial? Who can tell me why it is a polynomial? Uh, Ma'am, because variable has non-negative integer. Yes, variable has a non-negative integer. And is it is a uh, is it a one variable expression or a two variable? One variable. And yes, it's a one variable. Very good. Because only x is used. Okay, so this polynomial is in one variable. Okay, Sharia, have you understood? That why it is a polynomial? Because you can see the power of the variable is a whole number. Okay. It is a non-negative integer. Okay. Now let's see the second one. Give an expression. Okay. Adam, can you tell me? See the question. Second one. Root x to the power 5 plus 4x plus 2. Is it a polynomial or not? Mm -hmm. Second one. Yeah. Is it polynomial or not? Um, what is the power? See the power of it. Okay. If you take out the power, I mean, if you remove the root, then you will get x to the power 5 by 2. Okay. Let's see the second question. Okay. Uh, the question is, why is it x to the power 5 plus 4x plus 2? 4x plus 2. 
Okay, uh, so we have to turn off the mic because we have to hit the go. Okay, this is the question Arav. See, okay? Uh, if you don't take out, it will remove this root to get the um, exact power. So it will be 5 by 2. Am I right? Everybody? Yes? And it will be 4x? I'm actually non-polynomial number. Because, uh, yeah, it is uh, non-polynomial. So. But why? Because of this, of this power. Okay, 5 by 2, which is not a rotten whole number. Okay? Understood? Okay, so this is not a polynomial. The, uh, these examples are for you for explanation that you should know that what are polynomial. You can distinguish between which is polynomial and which is not a polynomial. Okay? Now, the third one, x to the power 4 plus x cube plus 3x by x plus 2. Is it a polynomial? No. No? It is not a polynomial? Zikra, can you tell me is it a polynomial or not? Third one. Um, which question? The third one. in the screen On the screen, you can see example number one. Third one. If you want, you can note down in a copy and just uh, cancel the x power and check. Uh, do I think it's a polynomial? It's a polynomial. No, it's a polynomial. Mama. But you said it's not a polynomial. No, after, 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 Yes, it is a polynomial. Got a x cube plus x. Yeah? Plus because it will cancel the x from the, the denominator. Okay, you can see the expression will be x cube plus x squared plus 3 plus 2. Okay, so the whole expression will be x Q plus 3 plus x square plus 5. Okay, so it is a polynomial. Okay, because the power is in whole number and a non negative integer. Okay, everybody, any doubt that which expression is a polynomial and which expression is not a polynomial? Now, let's see. Now, degree of a polynomial. Okay, but before degree, we'll have one more question and then some basic term that what is a term and what are coefficients in a polynomial and then we'll come to the degree of the polynomial. Okay. One marks question may come about what is the degree of the polynomial. They may ask you what is the degree of the given polynomial. Okay. Now, for example number two, which of the following expressions are polynomial in one or more variable? Okay. Now you have to tell us that which one is a polynomial and it is it is a polynomial in one variable or more variable. Okay. Now first question, three x square. Uh, Shari, are you there, Firdaus? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now for example number two, first question, three x square plus uh, 3x square minus 5x. So is it a polynomial or not? No, it is. Yes, it is a polynomial. Why it is a polynomial? Pridos, why it is a polynomial? Are you still confused? Yes, I am tell. It is because all of them are whole. Yes, the power, power is whole. Yeah, the degree or you can say the power of the variable is a whole number and a non-negative integer. Okay, so it is a polynomial. Pridos, don't be confused, okay? That why it is a polynomial. If you know that it is a polynomial, you should know the exact answer of why it is. Okay, then only you can discriminate between when it is not a polynomial and when it is a polynomial. Okay, and in which, uh, into one variable or two variable? Aram? Two variables. Check it. I mean two variables. It is in two variable. Pedos, are you sure? I'm one yes, I'm it one is in one variable. Why? Because only x is there. Okay? Aram, you're confused a little bit? See, mm -hmm. it is x square and x, but only x is used. Only x is used. Only single variable is used. Okay? Okay. Okay? So, it is in a single. If, it, if the question was... 3x square plus 5y, then you can say it is a two variable. Okay, Aram and everybody? Okay, because it is only a single variable is used, so it is one variable. Now, so question number six. Hello? Yeah, Advika? Hello. Okay, I think you are a little late. Not little, so much late. Yes. Mama had school today. Okay, okay. Uh, did you have? School, school. Okay, okay. Uh, sure. Okay. So, we have started new chapter in polynomial. We have not moved yet ahead. Okay. You can go through the video also. And uh, we just started about learning about the polynomial. That what is a polynomial? How an expression is denoted? I mean, how can you distinguish that what is a polynomial and which expression is not a polynomial? In how many variable this given polynomial is? Okay. Now, second one. Zikra, I'm can sure. you tell? I asked to Zikra. I didn't say Shazan. Okay. Wait, Zikra. Now let him answer and I will give you the third question. Okay, Shazan. Tell the third one. Second one. And two variables. Yeah, it is in two variable. And, uh, and actually, I think you were in 10th class also. So you, can, you can tell me the degree of this polynomial. Uh, degree is two. Yeah, degree is two. Okay. And uh, yeah, it is a polynomial also. Okay, very good. Now, Zikra, tell me about the third one. Root t yeah. plus 3y. Ma'am, it is not a polynomial because, ma'am, the power of the variable is... Not whole number. Yeah, the value, the power of the variable t is t to the power half, which is not very good. Okay, and it is in one variable or two variable. If yeah, it is not a polynomial. Actually, it is not a polynomial. So that question cannot come here. But if you ignore the part, it is not in root. Okay, you just uh, think that it is t plus three y. Then is it in two variable or one variable? Ma'am, what is a polynomial? Exactly? What is a polynomial, Advika? Okay, fine. I'll just explain you in a quick way. Eh? Okay, polynomial. Okay, let me just uh, quickly revise for you. Okay, 
Now here, polynomial. Polynomial is an algebraic expression, which is a combination of constant, variable, and uh, like arithmetic operations. Okay, plus minus all this. Understood? Now polynomial, you can say constant. Okay, constant plus variable plus arithmetic next operations constant constant can be one two three okay the values or it can also be denoted as a b c variables x y z whose values are not known okay and arithmetic operators like plus minus multiple division and it will be plus minus arithmetic yeah adhika can you just switch up your mic oh yes ma'am if you need to ask a question you can just quickly switch on okay fine So arithmetic operations like plus minus. Okay. So if you use a combination like three x cube plus two y plus one, this is an polynomial. Okay. Uh, three uh, uh, three x plus two x plus five. It is an polynomial. Okay. Z plus y plus x plus two. It is a polynomial. Okay. Now which expression can? Be? But if I say that y to the power minus one plus x. Plus two, it is not a polynomial. Why? Because the power of the variable, okay, the power of the variable cannot be a non-negative integer. It should not be a non-negative integer. Okay, it should be a non-negative integer. Sorry, it should be a non-negative integer. If it is not a non-negative integer and a whole number, then it is not a polynomial. Okay, Advika, understood? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you can see here on the screen some of the expressions here. Like first one, three x square minus five x. It is a polynomial, and this is in one variable because only x is here. If it is was, if it was three x square, three x square minus five y, then it would be in two variable. Okay, because x and y two var variables are used, but here only one variable is used, so it is in one variable, and the uh, you can see the degree here is two. Okay, it is non-negative. Okay. The second one also it is a polynomial. The third one is not a polynomial. Why? Because if you see the power of t, it is one by two. Okay, if you remove the root, it will be power of t will be one by two, so it cannot be a polynomial. And similarly, if I write, for example, one by t plus three y, it is also not a polynomial because this will be equal to t minus one plus three y, so it is not a polynomial. Understood? Any doubt in what is a polynomial, Advika? Uh, yes, ma'am. Ma'am, so like the power, like the power, it's uh, like it's any polynomial should have more than two terms. Ah, uh, your voice is not clear. Very. Can you repeat your question, Advika? Ma'am, so polynomial should either have two or more uh, terms in it, right? Yeah, you can mix two or more. Variables cannot can be there. Two, three, four variables can be there in polynomial. Okay, but the power of the variable should be a non-negative integer. Okay, and a whole number. Okay, it cannot be five by two. It cannot be minus one, minus two. Okay, it cannot be a rational number. It, it should be a non-negative integer. Okay, like one, two, three, like this. The power should be in this format. Okay, as we come. Yes, ma'am. Now the last one, fourth one. So can you? Uh, do you want to try Advika? The fourth expression, x cube um, plus x uh -huh. square plus one by x. So can you tell me it is a uh, polynomial or not? No, um, I don't think it's a polynomial because this is the one by. X. Yeah, one by x. Because if you uh, just uh, if you convert one by x, so the power of x will be minus one. So it is not a polynomial. And this is a polynomial in one variable x. Okay, Advika. Yes. Okay. Now let's see what are term and coefficient of the polynomial. Now what are term? Three y plus two x plus one. If you see this polynomial, everybody. So this this is a term. These all are terms. Okay. The values which are uh, means with every plus that come in. Okay. So ये हर plus से जो अलग अलग हो जा रही है सारी values ना ये जो है they are term. Okay. Individually we'll call it a term. Okay. Understood? What are terms? Now, what are coefficient? Okay, the values that come with the values that come with uh, your val variable value. This this value is this value is coefficient. Okay, the values that are the constant term that are that are coming with the variable term. Okay, that that are constant coefficient, and this term is a constant term. Okay, okay. Anybody? Can you tell me if I'm writing two? So, is a variable is here or not? Can I write a variable? I'm no variable is here. No variable. No variable. Yeah, it is a constant. But can I write like this? Ma'am, it is a variable. Ma'am, then I'm sorry. Ma'am, first of all, the power zero can be written here because x to the power zero or any number to the power zero is equal to one. Okay. Understood? 
So this is actually, and this expression will come when I'll explain you. That's why I wanted to tell you. Okay. So any value to the power zero will be one. Okay. So have you understood about what is term? What are terms? What are coefficient? What are constants? Any doubt in this? Anyone? No. Okay. Now let's see. Now your question. Uh, yeah. First we can see the example in polynomial x square minus four x plus seven. We can see the uh, first example. x square minus 4x plus 7. The expression here, x square, uh, x square coefficient is what? Can you tell me the x square coefficient? Number one. 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 Yes, that is one. So, uh, what is the coefficient of x? Minus four. Minus. And what is the constant term here? One seven. Seven. Plus seven. Very good. Okay. And what about how many terms are here? Can you tell me how many terms are there in this?
Now, Firdosh, I know that you know the answer. Okay, I will be asking you. I'll be giving you a chance. In fact, I need to know that everybody have understood or not. Okay. Her, her name is not Firdosh. Her name is Sharia. Sharia. Sh Sharia. Okay. Sharia. Actually, it is written Firdosh Sharia. Sharia. Sh Sharia. Yes, Am I right? Sharia or Sharia? Not Sharia. Not Sharia. Okay. So Sharia, can you tell me the second uh, second question? Okay. Not question. It is a, a example second. Four by three plus three by five x minus five x squared plus one by two x cubed plus x to the power five. What is the degree of the polynomial? One four. Degree of the polynomial. You check. So in fact, x to the power four is not there only. Okay. You check. It is four by three plus three by five x minus five x squared plus one by two x cubed plus x to the power five. So here. Now, x is with the power 0, x is with the power 1, x is with the power 2, x is with the power 3, and x is with the power 5. And x to the power 5 is the highest. Okay, Sharia? So, what will be the degree of the polynomial? x to the power 5. Yes. Okay? Highest, highest degree of the Okay? First, you have to see the variable. Okay? x is the variable. Now, in the whole polynomial, you have to check what is the highest power with related with the x. Okay? The highest power will be the degree. Okay? Don't get confused. Check okay. okay? Now, uh, part one, Arham, 6x plus root 3. What one would you say? Third part. 6x plus root 3. What is the degree of the polynomial? Mm, it's 1 because x is the power of... Yeah, it is 1. Very good. Because, okay. you know, x is the power of 1 is just equal to x. So, it become 1. Yeah. Uh, so me one who is there may know the name. I don't know the name. Okay, let's check. I'll confirm the name and then okay. Now degree of the polynomial we have understood in one variable. Okay, now what is the difference when we will see the degree of the polynomial in two variable or more variable? Okay, slight changes there. Now what is the change? For the degree of the polynomial in more than one variable, the sum of the power of the variable in each term is taken. Okay, in every term. Okay. The terms are what? You everybody knows the what are what are terms? All the values that are separated with the plus sign or minus signs or, or mathematic operators. Okay. So that are the bad terms. In each term, what is the sum of the power? Okay. Let's see the example and I will explain you. Okay. It should not be confusing because that was I understood. Yeah. Okay. I understood. Okay. Yeah, that's very good. Let's check. Okay. One more time. 3x, for example, 7x cubed minus 5x squared y square plus 3xy plus 6y plus 8 is there. Okay, everybody? This expression is there. Okay, fine. Now, if you see the power here, it is 3. Okay, everybody? I'm just discussing about the power because for degree, you need the power, highest power. Now, in the second expression, if you see the power, the power of x is 2 and the power of y is 2. So, you're going to add and then you will get the 4. So, the power of this term, this term is 4. Okay? Have you understood, everybody? Or you're going to take the power? No, no. I understood. Advika, are you saying something? No, no, I didn't understand. Yeah. No, no, now, in the second one. The, yeah? You didn't understand? See. Every term, whatever terms are here, x is here, it is too much. You have to add the powers of each variable in a single term. Now, this is a term. In this term, the only one variable is there. Okay? Zikra, Advika, uh, Sharia. Okay? And in this variable, only one term is there. And that is variable x. And then what is the value, uh, power of x? It is 3. In the second term, it will see... It is 5x squared, y squared. So there are two variables. X also is there and y also is there. So you have to add their power for the degree. So what is the power here? It is 2 plus 2, it's 4 is here. Okay? Now third term. If you see the third term, the power of x is 1 and the power of y is 1. So the, uh, the total power will be 2. In the third term, only y is So the power is 1. So Shazam, can you tell me what is the degree of this polynomial? And four. Oh, yeah, the degree of the polynomial is four. Why? Everybody know? Zikra, can you tell me why the degree of this polynomial is four? Power of x squared plus y. Let her tell. First, Zikra, don't get confused. First, tell me what is the degree of a polynomial. First, tell me the definition. What is the degree of a polynomial? Four. Yeah, four here. But why? Why it is four? I'm asking. Because this is the highest power. Yeah, this is the highest power. Very good. And why it is the highest power? 
here because x power is 2 and y power is 2. So 2 plus 2 is 4. Okay? Yes. Yeah, yeah, Ma'am, but the highest number for x is 3. x is 3. But see, there is a difference. That will end early. Now we are learning the degree of the polynomial in one, more than one variable. It may be two or three variables. There is a difference. When you see the the uh, degree in two or three variables, okay? Here, not only single variable is here. Okay, you can see x and y, two variables are here, Dilka. Don't get confused, okay? Here, more than one variable are here. Here, it is two variables. Okay, Advika? Okay, three variables yes, here. Yes, sir. Arham, do you want to say anything? No, I wanted to explain why it is uh, four. Why it is four, okay? Tell me. So, because uh, there's two variables, uh, they should be together. So, Advika, the it should be x to the power of two, but y to the power of two. So, two plus two will be four. Yeah, very good. Okay. So, Advika, is still any confusion is there? No, I'm not understanding why you're taking the value of x as 2 when the highest power is 3. Okay. See, Advika, there are two, when you're finding the degree of the polynomial, okay, first listen to me clearly. When you're finding the degree of the polynomial, then two cases occur. How many cases will be there? Two cases. The first case is when the polynomial is only in one variable, either x, either y, either z, either t, only one variable is there. Like, for example, Mama, I understood the case of one variable. I'm not understanding the second two variables. Okay. So, well, this first case is one variable. Now, second case is two or more variables. For example, F, x and y is there, x and z is there, or in fact, x, y, z is here. Okay? So, when the, the polynomial is in more than one variable, now then you have what you have to do for each term. For each term, you have to add the power. Okay? Like first term, that is 7x cubed. Here, only x is there. Only single term is there. And what is the power of this term, Advika? None the none have to add the power. So what power are you asking? See, for 7x cube, no difference. Only one variable is here. So you will take that power. Yeah. x cube, x cube will be, 3 will be there. In the second term, you can see two variables are here. x is also there, yeah. y is also there. So now you are going to add up the powers. Okay? For x, it is 2. For y, is also 2. So you are going to add the power. 2 plus 2 is 4. Okay? Advika? Now, 3, third one x and y so one no. power of x is one power of y is one so the power will be total will be two and for the fourth term only y is here so me ma'am who is there can may i know the name so uh advika any doubt uh, no, no, you have understood so when there are in more than two variables so you have to add yeah. the power yeah it's razi excuse me ma'am razi is at razi he is attending class from the center uh, his name is razi Yes. Okay, I thought actually Razi is a girl. That's why I got confused. Okay. Uh, sometime he may join from class. Sometime he may join from center as per uh, his convenience. Okay, so, okay. so Razi, what you do, you may uh, connect with the mobile. If you have mobile, so you can use your mobile speaker also to speak. Okay? I will okay. Okay, that's good. Okay. So, uh, actually, I've not seen your face before. So, I didn't know. And that's why I'm not able to ask questions from you also. Okay? So, have yes. you understood all the class? All the part of the class? Yes, yeah. ma'am. Okay, so we are ending up here, okay, because it's almost the time, okay, and from next class, we may revise the topic that we have learned and we'll move ahead with the questions of what is the degree of the polynomial and then we'll know about the classification of the polynomial, okay, how the polynomials are classified, okay, everybody, so bye-bye till then.